everybody. Welcome back to the channel, Arkansas Power Mobility, PowerArkansas.com. This is an exciting day. Once again, we have two of our favorite scooters. Um, we bring in two of them out here because these are our two most popular heavy-duty scooters. Now, you're probably thinking heavy-duty. I may not fall into that category. I may not be a heavy-duty person. However, you don't have to be a heavy-duty person to fall in this category. You may just want a heavy-duty vehicle to drive in. Um, these both hold 400 pounds. That's a lot of weight. However, you don't have to weigh 400 pounds to ride in one of these scooters. We have plenty of people that weigh in the 100 pound range that still just want a very heavy duty ride, one that will withstand more than your non-heavy duty scooties, scooters would uh, withstand. So let's get down to the nitty gritty here. They both hold 400 pounds. The Bandit and the Revo 2.0. Both of these are made by the nation's leading manufacturer and mobility scooters, and that is Pride Mobility. The Bandit has nine inch wheels all around. They're all solid wheels. The Pride Revo has nine inch wheels on the back, and they're solid. It has eight inch wheels on the front, and they're solid. So you're not gonna be dealing with any flat tires if you run over some rocks or a thumbtack or something like that. It's not gonna happen. Uh, you may have some scratches on the tires if you run over stuff like that. I'm not saying just go after it and abuse it, but you're just not going to have to worry about flat tires like we do in our cars. The Revo goes 5.2 miles an hour, and that is pretty fast. That's above average on what you're going to find on a mobility scooter. The Bandit, out of this world fast, it goes 8 and that's twice as fast, and it's the fastest scooter I've personally driven, and it is extremely fast. Matter of fact, I better hold on if I'm gonna take off in it. I know that, because it, it is very extremely fast. Let's talk about ground clearance. The Bandit has a 4.5 inch ground clearance off the ground here, where the Revo only has three and a half inch ground clearance. The Bandit has a skid plate underneath, and that's this metal skid plate right here. It wraps around the entire piece of the scooter all the way around the back. And what this does, it will protect not only the underbelly of the scooter, but also the exterior. So if you ran up against a doorway and it still goes through your standard doorways, we're not asking you to widen out your home and call the construction company over. Hey, I'm getting a big scooter. I need a big doorway. Not the case. They still fit through your doorway. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start dismantling these one by one. I'm gonna do it in steps with each other. So first thing I'm going to do, and by the way, our goal here is to transport this in your car. So when I dismantle this, you'll be able to see how easy it is with no tools whatsoever to transport this in your vehicle. First thing we do is take off our seats just like this. There's our seat on the Revo. I'm back over here to the Bandit. Let's fold the seat down. No buttons to push. I'm just removing the seat here. The seat weighs just over 20 pounds. Now I'm gonna turn our keys off before I start removing any batteries, just in case. So instead of having one battery to come out, they've split it up into two to make it easier on you. First battery comes out and I can still pick this up, no problem. And the other battery. It has nice little handles for you to help pick it up with. Two batteries. The Bandit with its lithium battery. One battery and it gives you a strap. Next thing we're gonna do is remove our front baskets. I'm gonna start with the Bandit on this one. Remove the Bandit's front basket and the Revo's front basket. Now, before I go to dismantling the front end to the back end, we wanna drop the front handlebars down for easy transport, because that's a little tall to be putting in the back of some of our vehicles. I'm just gonna drop it down there and tighten it up. Now we don't want this moving around side to side like this. That can get a little squirrely on the road. So what we're gonna do is tighten this up by this front handle and that locked that handle down. So now that handlebar won't get squirrely. Now this one, instead of having a knob like the Rebo did to loosen it up, they made it so much easier. It's just got a lever and it just pulls down and locks. Just another reason the Bandit has taken it a step further. 
they're thinking about your comfort here and made it that much quicker to lower that handlebar. Now, some people, not me, they can pick up the whole thing just like that. It's still a little heavy. I don't recommend that. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna make it a little lighter. We're gonna separate the front end to the back end. We have a lever right here. And all I do is I push it forward. Now, I'm gonna do the same thing on the bandit. Just push it forward, lift up. There we go. Now we've got these broken down and to the smallest pieces they'll let us go. So the Revo's gonna have a little bit lighter front end. This is the heaviest piece. It's just under 50 pounds. I can pick it up. I know not everybody can. So that's something to think about. Now the rear end's just a little bit lighter than 50 pounds as well. A little bit easier to pick up. It's got the handle back here. You can pick that one up. And there it is, all fully disassembled. Now this front end on the Bandit's a lot heavier. You may want to get two people to pick it up. It just depends on where you want to pick it up at. Just like that. And the Bandit's rear end. Okay, come on in. We haven't discussed how to put together the Bandit yet on our channel, but it's just like the rest of our scooters made by Pride. They're gonna offer you some fancy, mancy, schmancy little stickers to guide you through on how to put these together. So if you come right here, they have these green stickers. I've got one and two on the rear end, and then I've got one and two right here on the front end. So what I'm gonna do is take the front end green stickers and set them on the rear end green stickers, just like that. So once I get those on top, the whole thing, it just snaps into place, just like that. Almost anybody can do that. Some people may need some assistance and that's okay. That's why we're making this video, just to give people an idea so you're not hit with any, uh, you're not blindsided with any things that may come up on you after you purchase your scooter. We want you to be as prepared as possible. I just took that lithium battery and I set it back on, no special buttons to push. I'm gonna go back to the Revo now, if you wanna come back over here. Same thing here. They've labeled it with green stickers to help us out. Pride did this, not us. Rear, green stickers. Front end, green stickers. So I'm gonna take it, pick it up by our seat post here. Green on top of green, right on top of each other. And it snaps right on. So this is locked, I'm gonna unlock us. And then this is locked too. I'm gonna unlock us here on this knob, loose, loose. Get it tight. I tell you, the day is starting to warm up, Arkansas. I don't know that we have a fall. I think they call it fummer because it is still warming up. And I'm very happy to have this opportunity to stand out here in the heat and educate the people of Arkansas about these heavy duty scooters today. So thank y'all for this opportunity and thank y'all for tuning in today. I'm putting together our batteries one by one. No special buttons to push. They just lock into place. It's like a puzzle. It's like loading the dishwasher. You know, you just have to put it in in its place and it all works out. I'm gonna put back in our front basket. Slides right in. I'm gonna go back to our bandit. And if I'm leaving off anything or if I'm moving too fast for you, just give us a call, 844-769-3727. I can personally answer your questions. My name is Carl. We have some other people here to help answer questions. We can also come to your home with these, both of them. It doesn't cost a dime to have us bring these out to your home. Now I'm gonna put the seat back on the bandit here. I really like demonstrating this because there's no buttons to push. I just want to make sure this center piece right here falls in that hole. So I give it a quick look. Sometimes I get it right and sometimes I need to go back after it. So what that's going to do, see I'm off a little bit. So I moved it. There we go. Once I got it right, it falls right back into place. And that may take you a few tries. And guess what? Nobody's out here going to grade you or judge you on how long it takes. I know you want to get it in there as quickly and as efficient as possible, and that's why we're making this video right here. I'm just going to give it a look. Hopefully, I got it in the hole. So, now we're going to do something extremely exciting, Arkansas. Me and my coworker, who happens to be my lovely wife, we're going to line these up 
And we're really just gonna do this to show you how awesome the bandit is. We're gonna race them. We're gonna take over our street down here in South Arkansas. This thing has the flashers and it's, it's not a very busy street. I know you've seen a couple of cars drive by. They're gonna have to make way for us because we're gonna race these things. And it's not gonna be much of a race because this bandit is all about some speed. And we just want to give you an idea of how fast they take off and then mainly show you how much faster this one is than your traditional scooter. We'll be right back. Thank you. So you just saw us race. Well, I guess you can call it a race. I mean, the Bandit is just, no matter who's sitting on it, it is just extremely fast. Um, and fast may not be your thing. And hey, it's got a turtle on here for that reason. It can turn down. Maybe you just want durability. Here's your turtle. Matter of fact, it's got an eco mode too. So as you see the little racing flag, that's for all out speed, rabbit racing. Wow. Go back to eco mode, turn it down to turtle, and it goes much slower. It's more comparable to a traditional slower mobility scooter. You don't have to go fast. You may just want it for its durability. You may just want it for its ability to go through some thicker grass. If you are, Maybe you live on a farm. Maybe you live on, a, on an area that you're just not able to get to that grass as much, and it's not a big deal to you. But you do want to travel through it. This is your device, the Baja Bandit. So if you want it speed, this is yours. If you want durability, this is yours. If you just want to hold a lot of weight and save a little bit more money, this is yours right here, the Revo. They're both mighty fine scooters um, where the Bandit's just a step above. It's a step above in price too. They both have suspension. You know how I feel about that. They both have solid tires. They're just both very comfortable and very well-built, pride-made scooters. You're not going to hear things squeak on this like you just did that trailer that just drove by. They're just very well-built. And you have us at PowerArkansas.com to service it for you. We're going to take care of you any way we can. We're so happy to serve the state of Arkansas. In our terrain that we have, you may live in the Ozarks or the Ouachita Mountains, or you just may live in southern Arkansas where it's just as flat and swampy as it can be. These things can take on just most of any of that terrain, and that's what we're here today is just to show you that. So hopefully you got a good idea about how these things work. Hopefully you got a good idea that these things are very heavy duty and very muscular, if you will. These are very nice scooters. I uh, just don't want to stand out here and talk all day. Our Arkansas heat is getting to me, but I do want to thank you for this opportunity to talk to you today. Uh, before I forget, this thing is very fast. I haven't gone over this yet. Um, matter of fact, it's so fast that they've added a safety feature here. So if you do turn it up to rabbit and you do turn it to the racing flag and that puts you in the maximum speed of around eight miles an hour or slightly more and you have trouble with stopping, it does stop by itself when you let go of the gas and that's the electromechanical brakes that does that. However, if let's say you're on a downhill slope up in those Ozarks or Washita Mountains and you need to slow down and this normal electromechanical brakes isn't quite enough. This left handlebar over here is a manual brake similar to what you'd find on a motorcycle or a four-wheeler and that's an additional brake 
to help you slow this thing down. So they're thinking about your safety here. Um, and if you would like a seat belt added to it, we can do that. We may have talked about some accessories on the back. They're both come with universal posts on the back where you can add oxygen tank holders, cane holders, and the most popular accessory is gonna be your basket to go shopping in. Maybe you wanna go to Sam's or somewhere fancy like that and just load up on groceries. This is okay to do that with. Um, just give us a call if you got any questions. 844-769-3727, powerarkansas.com. We have a contact form on there you can fill out if you don't have time to give us a call. We just wanna make it easy on you. We wanna make this accessible to you. We do offer free demonstrations and if you do buy one from us, we offer a full demonstration and it won't cost you any extra money. We don't do shipping. We don't charge you for things like that. We don't do dealer markup fees. We, the only thing we have to charge you is tax. We can't get away from that. We don't want to make Uncle Sam mad. So it, it, other than that, there won't be any hidden fees. So what you see on the price on the website is that's what you will pay plus your state tax. So thank you so much for this opportunity today. My name is Carl, powerarkansas.com. Thank you.